So I started filming this video standing, but then my legs got really tired because I'm starting to run and like be active and so I got a spinny chair instead. Let's let's do this again. So hello everybody. Um it's been a while. <laughs> And I was like, I'm gonna make weekly videos. What have you heard that before? Every video that I make, I say I'm gonna make weekly videos. And what do I do? I don't make weekly videos. Oh man, I'm sorry. So I'm back and I actually have a really good topic. Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have gotten a spinny chair. This is gonna be distracting me. Anyway, I have a really good topic for this video, or I think I do. I mean, it's something that I have, and it's something that I feel like a lot of other people, internet people have, and um, they kind of had this problem, and I don't want to, like, stereotype. I mean, <laughs> this sounds really bad. I don't want to stereotype people, but um, a lot more people, like, what I see on the internet, they are talking about this and this problem, and I just want to talk about it for a little. Okay. Let's go. So I have really bad anxiety. And the main types of anxiety that I have, I have a lot of social anxiety and a lot of test anxiety. With my test anxiety, it got to a point where I couldn't just control it anymore. Um, in a math, a math test I was taking um, my junior year, last year, um, I legitimately like stopped the test and I looked down at it and I was like, I know nothing. I, I actually studied for the test and I did the study guide and I understood everything, but I took the test and everything went out of my brain. And I freaked out and I couldn't breathe and I started to cry and I legitimately couldn't function for the rest of the day. I just laid in my dad's office, my dad's the assistant principal, because I didn't want to lay in the nurse's office because I didn't want other people to see me. I just laid in my dad's office for like three blocks, couldn't breathe, couldn't talk, kept crying. It was terrible. It was legitimately terrible. And I realized that I needed to get control of this. I couldn't let this anxiety and this depression and this feeling inside of me control me. So I set up a 504 plan at my school and now I, I leave the room for all of my tests and I can listen to music when I take my tests. I also have um, some medication that I take and it's just... It's just I feel a lot better and I haven't had a really bad panic attack on a test since the beginning or since the beginning of my senior year so last year technically because 20 oh god it's 2014 <laughs> pretty sure I've been writing 2013 on all of my papers for school <laughs> oops <laughs> anyway the test anxiety I've got a pretty good handle on which is which is good and I'm going to college next year and I talk to the college that I'm going to and they have um they have like a 504 plan type of setup they have like an IEP type thing and I'm gonna be able to leave the room for tests and things and that's fantastic and I'm really happy that I can actually do that and um that kind of that like the anxiety like the pressure in my chest was kind of lifted when I found out that at the college that I'm going to they will let me do that now my social anxiety, that's something that I don't exactly have a hold on. I mean, it's getting better, which is good, but it's still hard for me. It's still hard for me to go out into like groups of people that I don't know and like have a conversation and like be involved. And an example of this is when I went to the college that I'm going to. I went there to schedule my classes for next year and there were a bunch of people that I didn't know. I didn't know a single person, um, student that was there and I was freaking out. I didn't, I didn't know anyone and that, that idea of going to a new place where I have no idea who anyone is, is that proper grammar? I don't even know. <laughs> but I have no idea who these people are and I am stuck there for a year and I need to immerse myself into these activities and I need to be involved. But the thought of it, it terrifies me because in my head I'm like, what if they don't like me? What if I say something stupid? What if I annoy them? And I just, I wish that those thoughts, those little tiny voices in the back of my head that keep telling me I'm wrong and I'm doing things wrong, I wish they would leave me alone and I wish I would be free from this and I could just do things that I want to do. But with things that I want to do, I, I really want to travel sometime in my life. And um, um, there's this YouTuber, his name is Louis Cole, and there's this other YouTuber and his name is Ben Brown, and um, they make daily vlogs and... The more I watch their daily vlogs, the more I want to do things. 
and it's not just it's not me individually well it is me individually but my friend Beth my bestest friend in the world she wants to do it too and literally because <laughs> my dad is the assistant principal at my school and his office is normally free during lunch and we don't like Beth and I don't like interacting with people we go into my dad's office we sit down and we watch youtube videos during lunch and we'll literally lunch is a half an hour we will watch three daily vlogs and that that's what we do that is legitimately what we do and we sit there and we talk about it and we talk about how much we want to do things and how we want to go places and have fun and live these adventures and get penny boards and travel and skate and whatever we just want to we want to live life and we want to have fun I am being inspired by these videos to turn my life around. Now, it's not just Louie and Ben, it's all of these YouTubers I watch. Zoe and Marcus and Alfie and Casper and Joe and, um, you know, Louise and all of these people, Grace and Hannah and Mamrie, all of these people just by their videos and just by them showing that they can live life and they can make videos and they can make a little difference in the world. That makes me want to do something. That makes me want to live my life and make a difference. And I just... And I really want to do something with it. I really want to be able to sit in front of this camera and make videos, make a quality piece of work that will go out into the world and maybe somebody will be like, yeah, I relate to you. Or yeah, I understand what you're going through. And then I want to talk. I want to have that connection with people. That's something that I want to do with my life. I wish I can do that, you know? And that's part of the reason why I'm sitting in front of this camera right now and making videos is because I'm tired of sitting on my bed, on my laptop, not doing anything and just wishing that I can do stuff. I need to suck it up and I need to bring out my camera and my tripod and I need to make videos. I need to stop saying that I will and I need to do it. I'm trying to take control of my life. I'm tired of sitting back and thinking I can't do anything. I want to make videos and I want to, I want to be there for people and I want to be like, I want to be like the big YouTubers. I want to be the funny, nice people that they are and I want to be able to help people. And I want to, you know, touch somebody. Whoa, wait a second. Touch somebody emotionally. <laughs> Not physically. Oh my god. Anyway, hopefully I can start making more YouTube videos and I can sit down in front of this camera and I can do something with my life. Filming the video for me isn't super hard. I mean, it's hard because you have to think of an idea and you have to sit down and you have to like be productive. And me being productive, pfft, that's hard. And um, editing the video, because I'm so self-conscious, I look back and I'm like, oh, I sound stupid. Oh, I look stupid. And um, I'm really trying not to do that anymore. And I really hope that I can, I can get past all of that and I can make good videos for everybody. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful in some way, or just I hope that it was something that you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys as soon as possible. And, um, so, yeah. Poop. I don't know what to say. What should I say? People have, like, things that they say. Say something, I'm giving up on you. No. Um, I got it. Stay positive, stay active, and remember, you are in control of your life. Bye! Oh man, this is an emotional video. Oh, keep flipping my hair out of my eyes. I'm trying to be serious and I'm like, oh. Anyway, um, but yes, I have, I'm trying to get control of my life. I never, ever, ever was the athletic type of person, but now I'm starting to run and I'm starting to do ab workouts and I'm starting to like bench press and stuff. And I'm trying to get my body in a better shape. I have a job at a summer camp all summer. I leave the day I graduate and I get back in the beginning of August. I legitimately, my whole summer is going to be at this camp and I'm not going to be able to go there in the physical condition that I'm in now.